Newport, Louisiana. S3 Power Sports, Shauna. S3 Power Sports is at full tilt. Hey man, it's Logan at S3 Power Sports. Are you? Getting orders ready for the first mud event of the riding season. Yeah, probably longer than that. I'd probably say about two weeks. S3, this is Logan. I didn't hang up for it. I didn't hang up. No, I blame Glaze. These mud events are how S3 made their name. And for this year's riding season, they plan to go big. Hurry up and get that stuff ordered so we can get those shocks out. We gotta send a sway bar. What did I flip to this page to write down? Between juggling racing and building mud bikes for customers, the guys do their best to multitask. Manny in here ordering race parts. I'm in here doing S3 Power Sports stuff. See the screen filling up with parts? Never ending. That's dollar signs, too. Yeah, six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> then throw mud nationals on top. Well, it all can be a little overwhelming. We're in a mad scramble to build the desert race car and figure out where we're going to ride for Mud National, so we're running out of time very quickly. Oh, that might be one right there. This is Dustin. Where are you at? All right, bye-bye. Looks like a little bit more work just showed up. Dustin has been working on a top-secret mud build idea. Son! With a little help from Can-Am and the district sales manager, Dennis Boyd. What's up? Dustin's plan looks to be coming together. I couldn't stand it. I liked yours too much. Really? Yep. <laughs> S3 is going to have matching defenders for mud gnats. Thought we wasn't gonna get it in well, time. You got 12 days. 12 days, we gotta have it. So it looks like I'll be up here this weekend tearing a defender down. To christen the build with good luck, Dustin likes to do a little ancient ritual. These tires are coming off, aren't they? We got a brand spanking new defender. I feel like there's only one thing to do with this thing. You gonna do a tug of war or what's going on here? Parking lot burnouts. I'm pretty sure this is the factory break in process for a brand new motor and brand new tire. That's a good launch pad right there. Man, that's the only way to treat a brand new bike. Look at this rubber. So much melted rubber under the fenders. Good as new. To get the build done in time, they need to get the Defender ready for teardown. What's up, buddy? You know what's going on with this thing? Big lift, big wheels and tires, big stereo, low cage. But I want it so low that that center seat is the armrest. <laughs> All right, hurry up and tear this thing down so we can get it ready. For this Defender build, Dustin wants to take what is typically used for work and create a head turner for the mud rides. We're gonna strip it down to nothing and then completely rebuild it with some S3 Touch on it. To let everybody know, you can take a utility bike man and turn her into a recreational car. That's our aim with this one. I'm gonna try to sit down in this thing and see about where the seats are gonna be. See how low we can get this cage. Oh yeah. We are gonna have to drop the steering wheel. Look like I'm driving a school bus. It appears Dustin hit his first snag. I wonder if we could just take this loose. That's all that's letting me go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive like this. <laughs> Dustin's vision may have been compromised. Might not need to lower the steering wheel. Hold the steering wheel up so I can get in here and practice. The plan is to install Factory X3 seats, then see how low the cage can go. About 65 and a half. What's going on under here? What am I sitting on that we can remove? So, Dustin and Austin are going to notch the bottom of the X3 seats. About to cut up one of our really expensive X3 seats, just to try and see if it'll work. Yeah, we're gonna give up a little uh, function for form. We don't care if it feels good. It just needs to look good. This dude didn't even think twice about putting a Ray Charles cut on the seat. <laughs> Bro, Helen Keller could have cut straighter than that. <laughs> Ain't that far off, I'm gonna be honest with you. I always like going lower. I think lower is better. But uh, I'm happy with that. It's gonna look sweet. It's gonna be way down there. With the X3 seats ready to be bolted down, Austin installs the S3 Can-Am Defender 8-inch lift. Then he gets the utility UTV ready to be pushed across the shop for the fabricators to weld up the cage. It's gonna look pretty sweet. It's gonna be Dustin's style of a low cage. This is all gonna be free-handed built. Cool. Let's tack another one up here on the front. He said in it, and he said he wants it to touch his head, so it's gonna be pretty sweet when it's done. That is low, low, low. Without a question, Dustin's Defender will be one of a kind. Yep, that's gonna be pretty low. This cage is about 14 inches lower than stock. And hopefully, he'll be able to see out the front of it. Up front in the sales department, working on sending some stuff to Turkey right now. Not to be confused with Africa. There's a bit of a debate brewing. 
do that as an animal. Turkey is located in Eastern Europe. I'm a geography major. Just because you took a geography class in high school doesn't make you a geography major. Dubai is not an animal. Yes, sir. What's up? Is Dubai in Africa? Yes, it's 100% of Dubai is in Africa. Told you. Yeah, just punk Logan. All right. All right. Nothing new to see there. With geography class over, Dustin looks to rally the troops. About a year then yapping over there, joking around about Africa and Dubai. Make those guys get back to work. I can see some lean back. And, well, his plan... Ow! ...kind of backfires. <laughs> Ouch! In the neck. <laughs> right in front of Mr. Mao. Mr. Mao walked in while we're shooting each other. He's there, man. Oh, you got it. Ouch! Freaking Private Ryan coming in here to save the day. <laughs> She's coming in here with the good guys. With the days ticking away to depart for mud gnats, the guys in the shop need to install the stereo system. All right, so it's Saturday morning. This bike is in a thousand pieces. It's time to work the weekend. Fortunately, off-road sound systems is located at S3 Power Sports. Basically, we're going to do a wet sounds STX Micro 4, completely sealed up amp in the dash. We're going to run a set of rev tins in the bed. We're going to put some underglow lights on it. We just need to make sure we hook up everything properly and make sure everything's attached and screwed down because Dustin Jones is going to do work to this thing. Oh, yes. You can see now fog machines. Mud Nash is going live. Wired up, ready for spider coat. Once it's spider coated, stereo can go on in no time. Yeah. While the guys wait for the cage to come back from powder coat, they have a little unfinished business to attend to. Don't worry about taking that freaking call. James's birthday was while we were gone, so I'm sure that he thinks we've forgotten about him. I had uh, Shauna get like 15 things of silly string. Y'all get him in here somehow. And so like when y'all walk out and he turns that corner, it's freaking go time. Obviously, birthdays are a big deal at S3 Power Sports. They're gonna come right around there. Shake your head when they come out. And Dustin always loves a good surprise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Thought we forgot about your birthday? Well, we didn't. Happy birthday, James. <laughs> good job. No. That was the best. That was the best birthday surprise yet. That's pretty good. There's a whole laundry list to be done today. They're leaving this afternoon and we're nowhere near finished. We pretty well shut down production to get the mud riding bikes ready for this event. But man, it, it doesn't matter what it is, it comes down to the wire every single time. Between building UTVs for customers and the fast turnaround on the Defender, the guys will be a day late to mud nationals. But on the bright side, Dustin's fully custom Defender is in final assembly. Man, that thing looks bad to the bone. I'm so jacked to see it coming together like that. It looks like right now they're gonna get it back on the wheel today. It'll be the first time to put it down on his feet. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. As bad as I'm... DJ, come look at this. My God. Dude, that thing's on another level. It's huge. To say the build met expectations would be an understatement. I'm excited for Mud Nationals now. Dude, that thing looks so good, man. Finally, the guys are about to hit the road. After they complete the finishing touches, of course. We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta go have some fun. So, uh, the faster we can get all the work done, the sooner we can have a lot of fun. Hey, y'all done yet or what? What's taking so long? You know, it's kind of like herding cats, man. So much for 10 o'clock this morning, it is 3.30 right now. Let's do this. Come on. We'll get there sometime tonight. I'm going handlebar deep the first hole we get to. Yeah. See what happens? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna roll the new bike out, man. The bike that we just built. Nobody's really seen it yet. After two long weeks of hustling to get ready for Mud Nationals, the guys are ready to show off the fruit of their labor. Let's go ride through the, uh, let's go to the sand pit. Let's go ride. They say, if you love what you do, then you will truly never work a day in your life. For S3 Power Sports, those words are more than just a saying. It's a lifestyle. And this is where the business started, and so this is where we come from. And this Mud Nationals, this is how me and Mr. Mao met each other. It's like we're taking it back, huh. but it's on another level than when we started, that's for sure. <laughs> Living the dream, babe. Playing in the mud at Mud Nationals.
run the whole pipeline in the day. Man, one thing that everybody knows about us at S3 is when we show up, our cars go straight to the water. And the guys are happy to finally cut loose. I'm backfired on me. I got moves like a cat. So, man, right now we're out here at the sand pit, and this is what it's all about. There'll be crowds around the pond just checking everything out, waiting on somebody to test the water. We're them guys that are the depth finders. We put our bikes in it and we test it out. This is what mud riding in the south is about. Ultimately, all the hard work and late nights are worth it, especially when you love what you do, even if you do get a little overzealous. Yeah, water came in my leaders a little bit. It got a little deeper than we anticipated, but Logan got a little wetter than I did, so it's nice. Never following y'all in the first hole again. But without a question, the new Defender build was a head turner, and there's a pretty good chance you will see more and more low cage Defenders in the future. On the next episode of Visions of Victory. We're just wishful thinking, loading bikes up. And we got a long ways to go tonight. We're leaving in 36 hours. Not one of them is complete. Woo! Get her down. Ah, oh, man, we're sitting on the front row. UTV World Championships, fastest guys in the country line up here. You know how lop it is. Win, lose, or draw. I'm sure there's going to be some craziness on the way. So for you personally, what are you going to do now? Uh, I'm actually going to go back and sit in my office for a little while, probably drink some coffee. Well, I wanted to be smart and comment there, and it didn't happen. I'm tired of not doing burnouts in my Defender. Anybody ask, we're just washing the rubber off the concrete. 100% this is going to turn out good. Doing a bunch of mic checks here. Spotted the suspect. He is 6'1", real ready beard. Uh, take a short nap, let them call me whenever they're done with this, and we'll come check it out again. Coming out from behind. Thing like this. How are you? Try to scare me? And that's your normal break in process for a brand new Can Am Defender. Huh. Oh. Well, you scared me a little bit. <laughs> Not a whole bunch, but a little bit.